What's up, everyone? This is Terrence Richardson, your Atlanta Realtor with the Executor LP and the Atlanta Relocation Guide. And today we are in Hazencroft, which is a brand new community built by Curly Family Homes with a twist. More to come on that in just a moment. We're going to take a look at this property here, which is a four bedroom, four and a half bath, roughly 2,800 square foot build. Let's go take a look. Property tour coming up right now. All right. So the reason I said with a twist is because while Curly Family Homes has built these first three properties in Havencroft. That's it, that's all they're gonna build. Even though they have other lots over there, even though over there you can see that there's a lot more to be built in the neighborhood, uh, they just got done doing a deal with Davidson Homes to come in here and finish out the neighborhood. So they sold all of the remaining lots to Davidson and Davidson's gonna come in, they're gonna bump up the price point. So it's an interesting opportunity because these three homes, Curly Family is selling them for under 700,000. The word is that Davidson is going to start theirs in 800,000 in this neighborhood. And when you buy brand new, those who buy at the beginning of a new development tend to ride that wave of appreciation all the way up through the last sale. And the first home tends to get a lot of equity uh, through appreciation as a result. So if Davidson Homes comes in here and starts to build an 800, those who buy these three homes are already going to have a $100,000 head start, assuming that Davidson builds something similar, similar square footage. So today I'm going to show you this specific house. So this one here, it's roughly 2,800 square feet. We're going to take a look inside and out. See here, driveway is nice and flat two-car garage. It does back up to Trickham Road. Trickham Road, as you can see, is quite busy. Today is a holiday, MLK, and you can see the cars just whizzing by. So on a school day, some school session, rush hour, etc. cetera. Uh, I'll, I'll show you, we'll get a little bit closer to that road a little bit after, but it's a busy road. So keep that in mind. So let's go inside and take a look. All right, so as you come in, you've got a little entrance foyer. It's not the biggest one, but it's a good size. Staircase to the right. I like the staircases that have multiple landings. It's not just one straight sheet of stairs all the way up. Got the stained wood with the wrought iron spindles, and right off of the entrance foyer is the dining room. Now these floors look like LVP. Got a coffered ceiling in the dining room. And this house does include the blinds. Oftentimes that's something that people, a purchaser would have to purchase separately. The Curly family home including that piece of this sale. Start off with the coat closet here. Sometimes they go all the way for extra storage and stairs. Not this one. Walk into the family room. Got the build pins on either side of the fireplace, which is nice. It's already pre wired, or you can see right above. You can hear the cars in the top. Not too bad, but you can hear them. So, family room to a breakfast area right here. Walk into the kitchen. Really nice size island. Like the offset colors with cabinets in the back, island, black color. Already lots of room there for chairs, for stools. Got the double ovens, Whirlpool appliance package, got the extra microwave there, sorry about that. Then hood, hot pillars, touch, got five burner, backsplash, 
our quartz countertop. It looks like 42 inch cabinet. Not every house that's uh, built comes with a refrigerator. They are throwing one in with this one. Got the large sink. Nice setup, nice and open. French door refrigerator with the freezer on the bottom. The pantry's a good walk in size. If you enjoy these property tours, consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing, and hit that bell notification button so you never miss another one. So over here, we're gonna have another closet here. When you come in from the garage, you can have coats in here if you wanted to. There is also a mudroom with built in for that purpose right here. And it's a, it's a standard size garage, it's not overly big, but it's uh, not a very, very big garage, but still plenty of room to park two cars. You have a larger like a suburban or a large pickup truck that's still fully fit in here. That's one massive water heater. All right, heading back inside. Right, take a step out back with you so you get a glimpse of the backyard. It does have the covered back patio, which is nice. Get a better idea of what it sounds like if cars whizzing by. the biggest backyards. Could fence some. And then that's common area that's owned by the HOA. So it'd be interesting to see if you wanted to potentially put in extra trees and shrubs and whatnot to help with down mitigation. I don't think you could necessarily put them in there. Uh, that's something that's gonna be maintained by the HOA, the pine straw is maintained by the HOA. Uh, but you could potentially build something along here. Not sure that that's necessarily what you'd want to do. But still a nice space. The covered porch. All right, let's head back inside and we're gonna go upstairs. All right, as we head upstairs, if you enjoy these types of videos, consider leaving a thumbs up, hitting that subscribe button, and the bell notification button. That way you'll never miss another tour. We release a property tour like this at least once a week. And uh, yeah, when you hit that like button, it helps me understand what kind of properties you like, and bring more of them to you. So as you can see upstairs, the carpet, downstairs are all LCD. There's a little bit of a loft get to the top here. So there's room for, and how would you use that space? Let me know in the comments below what you would put here in select space slash loft. And as you get up here, there are quite a few windows along the stairs. They all have blinds. A little tough to get to the stakes there to open and close the blinds. But if you have the blinds, just adjust them once and you're good to go, right? So right off the flex space, we've got a laundry room with cabinetry. And take a look here. Got the linen closet for the upstairs. So let's step into the first bedroom. 
and see it's a four bedroom, four and a half bath. So every bathroom or every bedroom can have its own private bathroom. And it's a pretty good size walk-in closet. Got tile around, tub shower combination, tile four. Bedroom up here. This one's sharing a jack as well. Got the double vanities in there. Extra in or separate enclosed space. This is top shower, water closet, walk in other bedroom. Closet separated. Three, actually. That one I walked in. One lucky person is going to have three closets. That's a lot of storage. Three bedrooms there. And then we have the primary suite over here. All right, so let's take a look at the primary suite. We got some nice windows in there. It's pretty much at street level so you can see all the cars moving by. Got French doors, double doors, in suite, time and suite. Really fast. So we've got the double vanities, lots of countertop space, lots of cabinet space. That's tub. Tile floors, tile surround, got the walk in shower, nice glass, walk in closet. This is with a basic fire frame storage station. I'd rip that out for a little bit of custom in. And water closet over there. I've got all the goods. So they've priced this one at $694.9. This previously priced at $740. Now, David Holland is coming in here and raising the ceiling to $800,000. We'd have to, of course, verify what they're going to be building, but assuming it's something similar, similar speakers, square footage, then these in the high sixes are going to have infinite equity. And by the time the neighborhood's built out, then that's a major way of appreciation there for the early adopters of the neighborhood got in early. It's like that always with construction. Those who buy in early in the neighborhood benefit the most when it comes to price appreciation. So if you'd like more information about this property or any others, feel free to reach out. All my contact information is in the description below. And whether you're moving to Atlanta in 60 days or six months, I can help make your move as soon as possible, but only if you reach out and contact me. I can't help you otherwise. But I'd love to be your agent if you're looking for a great agent to help make that process as soon as possible. Feel free to reach out. As I mentioned, all my contact information is below. Now, I've got a great playlist of other new construction properties you can check out. Click all the way up here, and you'll see that we've got other tours that specialize in new construction. If you never want to miss another one, then if you already haven't done so, I'd consider subscribing. Click down here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Hope to see you on the next